Okay, so I'm here today at the UTC Open Day at MMU and I'm delighted to be talking now to Susie Wolf, who's an ex-Formula One test driver. So Susie, tell me about what you do and your career in Formula One. Well, I started racing when I was only eight years old. I progressed through the ranks until at 18 I was ranked 15th in the World Championships. I then made the move into single-seaters um, and was racing partly in Formula 3 before getting picked up by Mercedes-Benz to race in the German Touring Car Championship, and which is a fantastic championship. It was a great opportunity for me. I raced there for seven seasons and then got the opportunity to test a Formula 1 car, and that test went well, and it led to me being the test driver of the Williams-Martini Formula 1 team. Um, and it was always my dream to make it to Formula One, to race, not just to test the car, but unfortunately the last, the last step I didn't quite manage, but um, it was a fantastic journey and at the end of last year I decided to hang the helmet up and move on to Ventures New. Okay, so out of all the things you've done, what has been the highlight for you? Without a doubt driving the Formula One car. You know, since I was 13 years old and was taken to my first Formula 3 race, I dreamed of making it to Formula One and that first time in the Williams at Silverstone um, was a very, very special moment. Mm -hmm. Now we're here today, the UTC Open Day, and it's obviously STEM subjects, so science, technology, engineering and maths. And that's a career and an industry that's very male dominated, as is Formula One. So what would you say to females and maybe younger girls looking, looking at those STEM subjects and indeed fans of motor racing, what would your advice be to encourage them into the subject? Well, I think, first of all, it's it's perceived as male-dominated, but the reality is there are some brilliant women mm -hmm. working in every aspect of, of racing, from engineering to, to, to mechanicking um, to data. Um, there's many, many great women, and I worked with a lot of them when I was in Formula One. And for me, it's just about transporting that message that it's not just for boys. If you have a passion um, for one of the STEM subjects or you're interested in motorsport, there are so many opportunities out there. You just need to look, look for them um, and grab them with both hands. And you're going to be talking tonight, so what kind of stories are you going to be sharing with the listeners here tonight? Well, there's many experiences um, that I had throughout my whole career on track and off track um, and I think for me what was important when I decided to retire from racing was to make sure that I could use everything I'd learned um, and help the next generation mm -hmm. um, because I had an incredible journey through motorsport um, and I want to pass back the lessons I learned, the things I did right but also the things I did wrong to make sure that the next generation don't make the same mistakes. So you, were, you retired late last year, what's the future for you and you've got a, a dare to be different uh, exciting project as well, tell us about that. Yeah, I mean, I've got my Dare to, Dif to Be Different hat on today because um, it, it fits so well because Dare to Be Different was an initiative that, that was born when I decided to retire. Um, I called Rob Jones, who's the CEO of the MSA, the Motorsport Governing Body in the UK, with an idea to get more girls into to racing and not just on the racetrack as racing drivers, but every aspect of racing because there was only one interview in my whole career that I ever did where I wasn't asked about my gender. It was right. such a huge topic. And for me... I felt it was important to make sure that we got more girls um, into every aspect of racing. And it's not just about getting them to a racetrack and putting them in a car. That dare to be different, we want to open up every aspect and we want to inspire the next generation and, and make sure that they see motorsport as an option for them. And also the very successful women working in different aspects of the sport, we want to showcase them because mm. they are the mentors for the next generation and mm -hmm. our next generation can look up to those women and, and be inspired. And so the Dare to be Different uh, project, it, it, how do people get involved with that? Well, we've got a website, daretobedifferent.org, where you can join the community. Um, and that's, that would be brilliant to have everybody and more people involved in the community because the more people we get, the stronger we are. Um, in our first year, we're doing five headline events. We're going into schools throughout the country and getting 100 little girls to a racetrack. They get to try karting. They get to do a STEM challenge. They get to do a piece to the Sky Sports F1 camera. They get to sit in an F1 show car. And they have to do a little workout to understand the importance of being fit and looking after yourself. Mm -hmm and eating well and we're not expecting every little girl to leave wanting to get involved but there may be just 10 or 20 percent that that are inspired mm. that leave the day thinking okay maybe there are more options out there than just what mm. is expected from society 
sounds to me, Susie, like you've had a, a fantastic career up till this date, but you're going to have a lot of really exciting opportunities and, and inspiring moments to look forward to with all those young children and young girls in particular that you'll be inspiring into those STEM subjects and indeed into racing driving. So thank you very much indeed for your time and uh, I'm sure you'll have a, a great evening here at MMU in, in Cheshire. Um, before we do go, how can people get in touch with you? I know you're on Twitter. Do you want to tell us uh, how they can find you? The best way to get in touch with me is, is through Dare to be Different and that's on our website, daretobedifferent.org. Like you said, we're on every social media platform that I, that I know of um, and it's very easy to get in touch. Thank you very much for your time, Susie.